Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze Long with Blue. Hello. And this is gonna be the Mirage Theory video ba, that a lot of people have been waiting for. Yeah, people were excited for this one, and I was too because it's just kind of the time where we go over everything that we kind of want out of Mirage. Yeah. Things that we know might not happen but still be cool to talk about, and you know, just kind of throw ideas out there to see what could yeah, potentially. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of a update. semi-structured getup. I mean. Definitely be We've got some Blue's got some talking points. I do, I time. do, because it's important. Um, well, we're currently in the Arcanum, because that's the biggest tie. Uh, you and I were talking about earlier, Nate, how every world now has to include the Arcanum in the story, right? Yeah, because it's a um, main point. Well, yeah, the spells, um, well, especially uh, kind of broader picture with shadow magic. Um yeah, we haven't gone in the shadow introducing that room yet. With Velma von Venkman. Velma von Venkman. Uh, she's a character. We ha we don't really know much about her. Uh, it's because she hasn't even been back here, so she hasn't unlocked the shadow school yet. Oh, well, no, no, not at all. And then it kind of brings it up to where, honestly, I just had a revelation. Let me just get a quick zoom that you brought up a really good point. With, oh, yeah, uh, we're doing some uh, right. investigative work so, over here. Now, this is just starting to tie it in for me here, team. Nate brought this up. That I'm not stealing this name. The Eclipse School. Look at the sun with I the I came moon. over here and I looked at this. First, I'm like, oh, it could be an eye, but also could be a solar eclipse. Yes. Now, tie that into the Mirage Deserts, right? What if we learn some type of, like, key to open up this, like, some, like, chant? To, but like, it open only up... can be seen during the solar eclipse. Yeah, and that we can go inside of this door. That was in... Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Yeah, would that had to not be a certain be time cool? of day? Would that not be amazing? It has to be a certain. Time honestly, of day I just go got chills. I just that got could chills. be really cool. I like that. No, honestly, that is it. Like only a certain time, but maybe we're on like the clock trying to race to get to the tomb, or you know, yeah. where we have to get to. You in never order, know. Like before the the solar eclipse happens or something. I don't know. But I just got chills. Like, why is this school? You know. Why is it so protected? Up. Right, no, yeah. I mean, there's a door, and then there's another border, and it's electrified. <laughs> you have to get through two of these blockades to get another in Another thing of noting, team, tying in with all of this, it's kind of, it's not deathly. Let me explain, and you brought this up, Nate, how I said, well, why are these trees presumably dead right outside here, right? Nothing grows mm -hmm. without sunlight. Eclipse. I know, but... That's spooky. Yeah, like, if there's a solar eclipse for a long time... Maybe it's a permanent one. No, because maybe it's not a permanent one. Maybe it's induced. You never know. Yeah, maybe the... Well, why would... I don't know. Why would this only tie into Mirage, though? It could be other other things. But it could. Maybe be it's made. just saying, signifying that during a solar eclipse, you know, nothing's going to survive. Even though it only... I don't know. Maybe it's I don't a think really, a solar eclipse It must be a powerful school. Yeah. So that's that's a little theory that we're like looking yeah, at. Yeah, excuse the, this... me. I could talk about that potential eclipse school i don't know i'm, I'm going with that but i mean Nothing doesn't else. this look like an eclipse like come on it does it definitely does my toes are shook <laughs> but why would an eclipse be able to cause that much damage or maybe they just honestly huh? it ha i have no idea you have to ask ambrose about that one <laughs> <laughs> well you brought up a good question too though with uh before we even like get into a lot of the background art for hey, what's up, Frankie? Uh, <laughs> sorry, Frankie. Frankie. Yeah, forearms over there. They'll get him. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot about him. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, no. But like, who is the new headmaster? Is our goal? Will we learn throughout Mirage as we get like higher and higher by learning from these scholars? Will yeah, we become the true new headmaster? I don't know who is leading the Arcanum. I know it's not. We met that other guy, Fitzhum, who we had to fight. Yeah, but he was just like oh, a side he, get him though. Yeah, he was just like the like the training guy. Very true. So maybe we still have to meet him. Maybe it's that tree in the back. Honestly, I I did a lot of meditation. <laughs> I'm not feeling that one. <laughs> I did some meditation over there, and I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that kind of actually leads into the next part, team. This is where it really gets into depth with like kind of some possible lore. Uh, if you want to talk about the uh, first pick here, Nate, with the um, old the Cobham one. good and um, well, I mean, wow. Let's just take a step. back. Yeah, this is the first picture that we saw. When let's they take a, yeah. Mirage. This is let's take a step back. All right, we know already from the writings in Zafaria, like the cave drawings, right? This was written down eons ago. This is the scorpion, right? Mm-hmm. Right. 
So Scorpion, Mirage, Sand, and all this. Exactly, it makes sense. So we already killed the rat, uh, literally. Because the um, other one is the bat, you know. Right, so. and that brings up a lot more theory, but that's for another year. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, though, when you look at this picture, you see the guy with the red stave, right? I believe he is, like, the leader of, like, maybe the a possible... Stave, the well, stave yeah. looks like he's a pincer. Yeah, exactly. For a scorpion. Oh, my gosh. I just got chills. That is <laughs> lit. How did you That's pull that? That's exactly what it is. Where, he is the scorpion. So where did you get that from? I just, I just saw. It. I just saw that. That's legitimately a pincer if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Wow. The claw. That is the Scorpion King team. Well, I mean, the reason why I thought though is because of all his little demon get with, like, the little ghost bone people. Yeah, he's probably somehow controlling them with that. Maybe, or... like, little sand dune people, yeah. You see the army in the background with, like, the little spears and... Yeah, so and he's whatnot. got his army of the undead. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm actually completely shook. And that's just one person in the picture. And obviously Cobb, because he's, okay. like, a grand designer and yeah. all. And he's just, like, looming over everyone, like... But it's kind of cool how there's, like, a dividing line where, the, you know, the bad on the right and then potentially the good. I mean, we don't know yet. But. Yeah, exactly. And then you have, like, I, honestly, when you kind of get towards in the middle before we even talk about the left, because the left is really mystical, uh, you have the merchants, which we'll get to later about the different shops in Mirage that we see later in a different pick. But the guy in the little green get him with, like, the two jewels... Mm -hmm. definitely makes me think and kind of like almost an aladdin-ish thing especially kind of tying with the oh uh, the, the short guy in the aladdin that yeah, sells him yeah 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 a little merchant right doesn't and he sell so, the lamp yeah i believe so and i think can i don't know about maybe the guy in like the black robe might be kind of an evil guy as well um so don't think he's a merchant but honestly because he has like little green smoke coming from his hand you see that mm -hmm. he might be like a wizard or something like that <laughs> you don't know uh, but when you, you said about, I think about, honestly, 20 minutes ago, the, prince, <laughs> Feels like 20 minutes yeah, already. the princess, um, in Aladdin, honestly, it's possible the person in the green robe, the lady in the green robe. Yeah, she seems like the Jasmine kind of. Honestly, yeah. This. And, you know, you're looking at the skull of the crown. Um, he I seems no like idea. he'd be like a helpful kind of guy that's going to like guide us through. You think so? Kind of like, oh, I don't know the name of the monkey in, in Aladdin. Do you? No. <laughs> uh, Abu, bad. Abu. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that's that. That's kind of what I'm the vibe I'm getting out of, out of you him, think so? like a helpful guy. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. I like that. And then we were thinking the the girl in the pink. That's some genie. kind of genie. That is a genie. That is straight <laughs> up voodoo. You have pink smoke with genie. blue smoke goo. Even the then... pants kind of the pants kind of look like, you know, the the puppy. Yeah. Uh, ones from that. The actual genie in... Well, the it's interesting, too. I mean, honestly, it'd be pretty cool to have... Uh, you know, honestly, there has to be genies. We'll get to that genie theory a little later as well, because we <laughs> see that with the shop. Um, but the little uh, fox guy with the stave, definitely, I think he's a rogue desert man, um, without a doubt. Uh, yeah. And then potential underwater area with... Yo, like we really dive under okay. the oasis. Yeah, there's like an oasis area, like possibly in a desert, and like there's like these noble fish people with like, they're like natives. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's so. that's that's the potential for that one. I love how we got all of that from like just that. All one that from pick. the first picture they ever even released of this. That's huge, Nate. But yeah, that guy's a scorpion king. <laughs> like, wow. Okay, what I was gonna say earlier was I'm excited to see what his final form of a right. scorpion to look I like because like, the rat yep. transformed into into uh, you know what well, well, transformed into the rat literally going to turn into a scorpion and each of these characters have like their own ability that they you know uh rasputin's was hypnosis with his uh like amulet yeah he held. and then this guy is going to be his scorpion staff yeah something uh, it has to be something he can, what he uses to control you know, his minions, so, yeah. Quite possibly, Nate. That's some cool theory there. That is, I love that. Which one do you want to talk about next? All right, yeah, so we got some other concept. We're not going to dwell as long as we did on that one. Yeah, yeah. But that was the that juicy was, one. That was there. the juicy one, Nate. So the most recent one, we've got, uh, they call it Agrabah, which is definitely, you know, a Latin reference. Well, yeah, I think even the Kingdom Kingdom Hearts, they even have Kingdom Hearts, you go to Agrabah. Like, yeah, that's like, I, that's it's crazy. That's what I visualize when I see that, just running through those streets. And, uh, yeah, so we got that. We got some, you know, peddler shops. Oh, yeah, you see the genie lamp get them, like, straight off the bat. The lamp shop. Right. Um, 
you know, like the rugs. let me zoom into this. Real quick. I'm actually like, what is that? Little, what is that thing on the right, the bottom right against the wall? Is that like a scroll or something? It is like a map. It is a map. Okay. That is a map. Um, you even have a, uh, let me like, I'm just like zooming in. Cause like I've analyzed this, but like, cause I just, you just, <laughs> Not solidified this closely. It. well, I mean, when you solidified that, that scorpion with like literally it was a pincer stave, I freaked out. I'm not even kidding you. It already blew your mind. Um, you know, other than the fact that this is honestly probably more than likely, Nate, and I'm not saying just, just to, like, tone it down, but it's probably just, like, the main area, you know, like, one of, like, the main hubs. Yeah, like, I can imagine it, you know. I could be just being the bastion of Mirage, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, there's gonna be multiple little shops that will, you know, the yeah. wand shop and stuff that will be around here. But I'm living maybe, for Maybe it, that Genie Lamp shop is the wand shop, because... You get a genie lamp as like a you know, yo as a talking can... about gear though wow but yeah I mean that's that's probably just a main hub but I yeah, don't need to get out of that that's a good one I, like I mean that. is Agrabah gonna be the main hub I, we're not sure but I have no idea actually... probably not though yeah so the next one we got is, wow uh, they don't really name this one they just say Let's something about ones, like, slithering something through the streets here now let me just say this let me take three steps back while I fall on the floor. Look at the roofs. Literally mushrooms. This is an underground area. I'm mm -hmm. not even kidding you. Well, yeah, because it looks really dark. Yeah. like And the, the the roof up there, both of them, I mean, all of them, to be honest, look like a mushroom. So they look like mushrooms. Gotta and be underground. I believe there has to be some snake get in this one, uh, without a doubt, and or... Uh, it seems like Mirage in itself as a world is kind of a balance between where, like... I mean, kind of, you have, like, the affluent... A bunch of different people, like... Well, yeah, you have, like, the affluent get with, like, the things. jewels and whatnot and whatever. You have, the like... underground's gonna be You these. have, like, underground sneak em good, like, kind of, like, you know, a secret society or something. And then you got, like, desert. You got, you know... The potential for this world is huge. If it's longer than Polaris, but, like, longer in a good way, not just, like, a get em good quest way, that would be great. You know Yeah, what in I mean? terms of areas, I mean, Polaris... I'm not sure how many areas total it had, but well, it's just a quick world. Point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, wow. I don't know. I mean, there's j just judging from these few pictures, though, it seems like there's you know some variety there. There's some variety, and I love that. that. So, Nate, one eighteen spell possibly or pet? What do you think? I hope it's pet because you think so. I mentioned this in my other video. Yeah, we have the ninety eight pets, which we can get now on our uh, you know, fire and ice characters. We right. Just hit ninety eight. And in Polaris, we didn't get a pet. We got the spells. Right. And now uh, Mirage, I don't know. It'd be cool to get spells. It would. And we might see that with, you know, these schools. I mean, are these schools, is this Eclipse potential school going to give us a spell? I don't know. I mean, could it be the, uh, yeah. I mean, honestly. Like, why not? Because we're opening, you know, the Shadow School to be able to see, you know, inside of it for once. I, know. No return. I feel like no, no matter no, what happens no, with what we get, I mean, my theory for 118 death spell, let alone going into other schools, um, definitely, I believe, has to be some type of, like, desert death god. That's just what I'm settling for. That's it. Rises um, from the sands. No, no joke, though. Like, literally, like, some type of, like, dark essence of, like, evil, like, that's surrounded through, like, sand and stuff, like this, like, death golem. I don't know. That's all I'm settling for. Yeah, I mean, going forward, though, we have to... Like, the spells basically have to be shadow spells. They do. Uh, until so. until they introduce a new s school. People have theorized that school behind the storm lightning over there is light. I don't think so. It might be, it but probably look like not. Light to me. It doesn't, no. Uh, but new spells will Unless always... Unless it's saying light, but it. it's being, like, held back because... An eclipse would hold back the light. I don't know. You never know. A lot That's of a good, theories there. But. That is. You know, honestly, I'm just excited. It's really thinking that it's coming out this upcoming week, team. So stay tuned. Wow, we're going to be busy if it is. Yeah, that's, that's going to be really exciting. I mean, I'm more expecting it Tuesday, Wednesday would be yeah. like the best days for them to release it if they're going to. Right. We've seen test drums released later in the week. Kind of hope they don't, but they do, they do. And we'll be we'll doing be, it no matter what. Yeah, then we got... You know, the most exciting thing is going to be that life and death walkthrough. Oh that my goes gosh, the return. Home. Yeah. What uh, character are you going to be doing, Test Drum? Death. I'll be doing my Storm. I'll be doing Death. I'll be doing Death. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be doing that just to kind of quickly go through it. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we'll be posting kind of interesting moments that we find. We'll be, 
you know, compiling that together. Like Honestly, I'm have. more excited for this world than I was for Polaris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Polaris was cool, but I don't know. I feel like this I can feel deliver like, more. I feel like this one's going to bring the story out more. I, I think so, too. So, yeah, that's exciting. So, all is going to be happening next week, hopefully. It's a lot of hype. I'm sure they'll tease a little more stuff, but... Oh, yeah. At that point, I think they're just going to get ready to <laughs> release Test Realm, yeah. hopefully. I mean, re release the Test Realm, but yeah. yeah. So that'll be happening next week, hopefully. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this theory, then uh, go ahead and leave a like on it. Subscribe for more videos because we'll be you know, doing Test Realm as soon as it comes out. So make sure you're up to date on that. And uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you all next time. See ya!